Peace, everyone. It's Tamika Lachelle, and yes, today is not Wednesday. It's Thursday, July 10th, 2008, and I have been asked to be an artistic director uh, and lead hostess of a wedding for my friend. And yesterday, Wednesday, July 9th, I was out shopping and crafting for that wedding and was not able to make it on here to do my Wednesday weigh-in. I wanted to quickly speak on the manner in which I'll be doing my weigh-in. I will never mention the weight that I am currently. I'm not claiming it. I don't want to be it. I don't want to attach any emotions to it, so I'm not claiming it. Um, what I will claim is where I'd like to be. And so I will state it as if I am that currently. And I will also state how many pounds I'd like to release currently. <laughs> um, so I am 139 pounds. I need to release uh, 63 pounds of weight. Uh, so that is how I will be doing my Wednesday weigh-ins, and I won't speak on that again. That'll just be it, <laughs> and hopefully people will catch on to it, or they won't. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm doing it that way is because, and this is something I want to talk about today, um, is attaching our emotions to negative verbiage. Um, we put out a lot of negative words into our atmosphere, and I think those words vibrate or vibrate back to us. And I don't think that that's a good thing. I think we need to be ver very cognizant of what we're putting out into the universe um, for ourselves and for everyone else. And because of that, I'm going to be very aware, especially in making lifestyle changes, of what I'm saying and how I'm saying it and what I'm attaching to it. And that simply means I need to think before I speak and be as po a positive person as I possibly can be. So again, I am 139 pounds. And I need to release 63 pounds of weight. Okay. Alright, so let's talk about my regimen. Um, Monday, as you know, I left out of here in a rush to go get my nails, eyebrows, and toenails done. And I decided that I would stay within my regular routine of getting it on, getting it done on or before the Sunday, I'm sorry, getting it done the Sunday on or before the full moon. Or, and, uh, Sorry. It's so much. There was sirens over there. The dogs are barking. I don't know if you can hear all that. There was so much going on there. Anyway. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is I had already in place um, the regimen of getting my eyebrows, toenails, and fingernails done on the Sunday on or before the new moon and the Sunday on or before the full moon. And for whatever reason, I broke out of that routine. And I feel like I should stay in it, so that's what I'm going to do, and that would be this Sunday. And so I've set an appointment for this Sunday to get my eyebrows, toenails, and fingernails done at an organic day spa in Virginia. So if you are in the Washington, D.C. metro area, please go to comfortandjoyspa.com, and you'll find the day spa that I've been going to for about a year, um, on and off. <laughs> um that is completely organic. They use all organic products. Um, and it is a day spa, which means there's facials and massage therapy, even energy therapy there. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely check it out if you're in the metro area or if you're coming here. Um, it's comfortandjoyspa.com. Um, so I'm excited about that. What I, what I also did on Monday is I received um, my third body herbal wrap. Um, the particular person I've been getting my wraps from was recommended to me because I deal with a lot of stress at work and so I need as much stress relief as possible and so I've been getting the wraps for stress relief and for detoxification. Another great benefit of them is also inch loss. Um, so Although that's not my objective with them, it's a good, you know, byproduct. Um, and if you're interested in the sacred herbal wraps that I've been getting, and they are sacred, the minute you walk into her home, um, you just feel, oh my God, you know, you feel very special, very goddess-like. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in that, it is a private practice. Um, she does do it out of her home, but she set it up, the entire top floor is set up for this. Um, giving sacred body wraps. Um, so, if you're interested in that, please private message me as she doesn't want her information all over the internet. 
Um, and unfortunately, YouTube is all over the internet. <laughs> so probably best with me if you're in the Washington, D.C. Um, metro area. And I will send you information to get in contact with her um, for some sessions. Um, another thing I've been paying very close attention to is my diet. Um, I eat seven small meals a day. I actually eat three small meals and four snacks. And one of those snacks is a completely liquid snack. And that's the last snack that I have of the day. Um, and that's been going really great, except yesterday. I was the meanest, evilest, craziest person yesterday because I missed three meals. I missed them. I, I just didn't have time to do it. I was shopping, which is one of my favorite things to do. And I was getting on my own nerves during shopping it was awful I will never in my life ever if I can avoid it do that again it was bad um, but up until that point I've been doing really well and I take in about 109 ounces of water a day another thing that I do is meditation and I'll get into more depth about my diet meditation and exercise regimen at a later time um, I'm gonna end here but I want to repeat what I said in regards to putting positivity into the atmosphere I believe there's just way too much negativity out there already. It's bouncing on to people who really don't deserve it. And I think we need to filter that out and place more positivity into the universe. So think before you speak. Speak the words that you really mean. Be as positive as possible in doing so. And attach positive emotions to the things that you're saying. I thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Be well. Be safe. Be peace. Tamika Lachelle, becoming the goddess I am. Peace.